Hey, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Wednesday evening. It is June 10th, 2020, about 7.20 p.m. West Coast time out here in the uh, state of California where it's hot, almost, almost topped out at 100 degrees today, uh, close to, uh, yeah, close to the century mark. We hit 98 degrees here in the northern Sacramento Valley. Checking out the earthquake 3D globe here. Shows, of course, quite a bit of earthquake activity out here in the, well, that's kind of south, well south of the Ar uh, Africa region out here. Let's get an exact coordinate if these guys are going to want to uh, give that to us here from the USGS. Uh, what do we got here? Well, they're stating 6.0, 785 kilometers west of Jamestown, St. Helena out there in South Africa region. It's a little bit, little bit of interesting earthquake activity taking place out there. Um, to the north here in the Mid-Atlantic Rift region, we have seen uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity, but uh, right now it's relatively quiet within this section here, so activity stretching down to the south for the most part. Uh, no mega quakes expected with this activity uh, due to the rift and the uh, plate tectonics out there. Uh, West Coast region relatively has calmed down. Uh, there is still activity out there. I'll show you guys here in just a minute, but I want to go through here globally with the latest earthquake striking out here, 4.4 earthquake. Uh, striking out there on the globe near Japan. Uh, Yonaguni, Japan. At a depth of, it looks like at about 80 kilometers below the surface there. So not a super deep earthquake and uh, not a super shallow earthquake either. Just kind of a uh, some interesting earthquake activity there north of, of the mainland out there. All this older earthquake activity just about ready to drop off the globe there, including the uh, majority of the quakes out there around the Mediterranean Sea region and quite a few uh, quakes uh, happening out there in the, well, that's kind of like the south middle east region there still part of Japan or uh, Iran excuse me uh, looks like about 56 kilometers east northeast of uh, Mohar Iran quite a few folks filling that 5.8 out there in the desert of Iran and uh, get back to the other part of the globe here activity in the South American continent there relatively quiet Puerto Rico still below average shaking uh, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, West Coast region here. We can take a look at the activity taking place in the California and Nevada earthquake area, uh, Nevada area. Relatively quiet, folks. Uh, Nevada seems to be calming down at the moment. That's a good thing. Mono Lake, Long Valley Super Volcano, including uh, the Ridgecrest area, calming down. Of course, there is still some quaking going on, but no major quakes, not even any moderate quakes to report uh, within that region over the past couple days there. San Andreas Fault looking pretty quiet as well. Let's go ahead and zoom in to the, uh, a little bit different map here. And we can take a look at uh, the activity on a little bit different scale here. You know, activity has not completely diminished, but uh, we haven't seen any major quakes out there. Uh, a lot of these quakes out through Nevada here, the one day all magnitude showing some, a lot of microquakes, no doubt a lot of microquakes, but no major quakes and no moderate quakes to report there in Nevada. Uh, up there through Idaho, let's go ahead and zoom in up there in the uh, beautiful state up there. A little bit different story. We're seeing a little bit different magnitudes up there couple threes and a couple twos showing up there in the original area where that large quake struck uh, a couple months back there in this area uh, but no major quakes to report out there Yellowstone National Park looks as though they're showing some activity here on the globe or at least on the map a um, couple micro quakes but taking a look at the uh, the big picture here the Yellowstone National Park picture we can see that activity is well, well below um, average 
activity for Yellowstone National Park there. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in just a little bit here. This is kind of like an overview of uh, Yellowstone National Park, the seismograph stations there in Wyoming, which includes parts of what looks like Idaho and uh, pot potentially parts of Montana up there as well. But uh, no significant earthquake signatures uh, being reported on any of these seismograph stations there. So just a quick update, folks. Um, you know, it's been a couple days since I've been out here. We are looking at some potentially more thunderstorm activity out here along the west coast here Friday into Saturday. So I'm kind of looking at that scope for uh, some storm chasing out there. We'll see how it goes. Still keeping an eye on the tropics. I am still counting on uh, chasing a hurricane this season. And uh, uh, yeah, there's no doubt it's going to happen. Uh, just a matter of when and uh, the location. So we will uh, see what Mother Nature wants to throw at me, and I will definitely uh, I will give her a, a run for my money, no doubt. I'm not. Uh, weather doesn't scare me. Weather does not scare me. The events going around the globe, around this country right now, politically, is what scares me. But like I said, po politics no uh there's no room for politics here on this channel but that's what scares me anyway folks um have a good evening out there uh yellowstone national park greening up a little bit looks like it is warming up out there in the uh, state of wyoming there of course they had some thunderstorm activity and whatnot heading into summertime up there beautiful area hope to get up there as well uh just a matter of time and uh and um yeah. Anyway, folks, have a good night. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.